What's up guys and girls, I'm Mr. Euphonium and today I'll be doing the part 4 of my Bank of China skyscraper tutorial. I hope you enjoy. So guys, this is the part 4 of the Bank of China tutorial. If you haven't watched part 1, 2, and 3, go ahead and do that now. But let's get this part started. Okay, guys. So once these two have met up, you want to bring this all the way up, up, up. And you can just bring it up until you see it meet the top of over here. It doesn't have to be exact because it's going to change. Now, what you want to do is come to right here and do something just like this. Okay, so now what you want to do is go ahead and do the same thing right here. And over, back, up, over, back, up. And just keep doing that until it meets up right here. And this is on the right side if you're wondering. Okay, guys. So now what you want to do is do this on this side too. And when it meets up on like how it did right there, it should touch this pole. Also, guys, when you come right here, you can also go ahead and fill this up with diorite as well. Just like that. Alrighty. So now what you want to do is go ahead and do this on this side as well. Right here, the left side. And make it meet up with the pole. Okay, guys. So what you want to do now is come right here to where you see this block right here. Ooh, you want to bring it over at a diagonal. Just like you've been doing the whole time. And do that on this side as well. And you know what you're going to do. You're going to connect them right there. So when they meet each other, then that's where you know where to stop. Okay, guys, so what you want to do is right here, this is the first block. You're going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, and on the seventh block, bring this up till it matches right there. Do the same on this side. And now, right here, you're going to make it match up just like this. Like you've been doing this whole entire X diagonal E thing. There you go. You're going to bring that up just like that. And do it right here too. You know what I mean? String bean. Alrighty. We're almost done this building, guys. We're almost done. We just got to finish the antennas and then fill in the glass. So... Yeah, so we're going to bring this over with polished diorite. Okay, guys, so what you're going to do is you're going to still keep out your polished diorite, but you're also going to get out cobblestone, cobblestone, cobblestone walls and dark oak fences. So get your polished diorite and you're going to go up one, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, just like that. And then do the same on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now get out your cobble stone walls and do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Do that over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now you want to get out your <clears throat> excuse me. Get out your dark oak fences and go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like that. And do that on this side. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, you want to get out your torches. Oops, I put it right back in there. Torches. And you want to put one on top of this and one on top of that. Now you want to delete your second from the top block of diorite on both sides and replace it with glowstone. After that, you should be looking pretty much like this. And that looks pretty good if I do say so myself. And now what you want to do is come right here. And you're basically going to do this in reverse. So you can do this going downward for the first time. So go ahead and do that. Okay, guys. So now you should have something that looks like this. And now we're ready to fill out the black stained glass. So what you want to do is we're going to do the side slants first and then we're going to do the um, up and down ways. And that should be looking like that. 